Humans aren't the only intelligent beings in the universe. No, we don't mean aliens. Unless, maybe? It's actually much simpler than that. Just look around at other life on Earth. Dolphins, for example, are highly intelligent. They communicate, play, and solve complex problems. In fact, many organisms, from well-trained pets to entire ant colonies, act with intelligence. What do you think intelligence means? Intelligence is hard to define, and it's different depending on where you look. But it's often described as being able to learn, reason, make decisions, and pursue goals. And along with non-human forms of intelligence, there are also non-living forms of intelligence. Certain machines and computer programs use what's known as artificial intelligence, or AI. Let's zoom in. A key difference between AI and traditional computer programs is the ability to learn. One of the first AI programs was built to play checkers, way back in the 1950s. Earlier computer programs could play checkers too, but only using preset moves. They never got better or worse, and were probably pretty boring after a while. The AI program was different. It could recognize patterns in the games and analyze them, essentially teaching itself to play a little better every time. This is similar to how humans learn. But there are some fundamental differences between human intelligence and AI. For one thing, a human could learn to play checkers pretty well in 10 or 20 games. For AI, it might take millions of games. How does AI learning compare to human learning? AI needs a lot more data than humans do to find patterns and learn. But that's also its strength. Compared to humans, AI can process much more data and find patterns that we can't see. By the mid-1990s, scientists had trained an AI program to play chess. Known as Deep Blue, this program could beat even the best human chess players. However, while Deep Blue is better than humans at chess, it's worse at everything else. That's because it has what we call narrow intelligence, meaning it can only do one thing. Humans, on the other hand, can solve many different kinds of problems. Scientists are working to develop programs with AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, that could solve a wide variety of problems. But it's a tricky challenge. Which is true about narrow AI programs like Deep Blue? Narrow AI programs can only do one kind of task. But like Deep Blue with chess, they're incredibly good at what they do and they're already part of our everyday lives. For instance, narrow AI models are used to find patterns in weather data to make forecasts more accurate, analyze medical images to help doctors diagnose diseases, filter spam out of email inboxes, search the internet, and control autonomous machines. Another kind of artificial intelligence is called generative AI. Generative AI can create or generate new information, like text, images, or videos. For one thing, generative AI programs can help find and sort information, but they can also make things up that aren't true. That means it can be hard to tell fact from fiction in AI-generated text. People can also use AI to spread false information on purpose. Deepfakes, for example, are AI-generated images, audio, or video recordings that impersonate people or make claims that aren't true. And they can be very convincing. How reliable is the information produced by generative AI? Images and text created by AI can be very convincing, even when they're fake. Be sure to watch out for AI-generated content and always check the sources on anything important you see online, especially before sharing it with others. Another important issue in AI is bias. AI models learn by finding patterns in their training data and copying them, even unwanted patterns, like human biases. That means we have to be very careful what data we use to avoid teaching them the wrong lessons. Nobody knows just how artificial intelligence will affect our lives in the future. But one thing is certain. It's a powerful tool we can all learn to use and partner with in an endless variety of ways.
and its potential is growing every day. Want to write songs? AI can help with that. Want to plan a trip to a city you've never visited? AI can help with that too. What do you need to use artificial intelligence? AI models are available to anyone, even without specialized training. Most experts predict working with AI will become a critical skill in the future, much like basic internet skills are today. Now, let's look at the big picture. AI is an exciting and fast-changing field, and it's impossible to predict exactly how it will affect our relationship with technology over time. For now, it's up to us to explore the possibilities and discover how we want to partner with AI to expand our own potential. What is one way that you would like to try using AI? AI is a powerful tool with a huge range of applications that are changing every day. Only time will tell how you might use it in the future. Thanks for learning with us today and for staying informed online and off.